What is up guys? We are back with some Fallout 3. We are going to be attempting to use the mod the Fallout 3 low gen. And this is basically like Dendalods, but for Fallout 3. So uh objects that are in the world will be generated from further away, so you can see them from further away. Uh this is really good for if you have like mods that add buildings and stuff. Now you'll be able to see the draw distance for them, you'll be able to see them from further away. So uh there isn't really any instructions on how to use it however the file contains an executable and i guess once you run it we'll figure things out from there so this is my first time using this i can't guarantee you that i know everything that i'm doing but i did read over the description and it said to do not uh Generate it for tree for tree LODs do not generate tree LODs. So definitely make sure you don't do that and uh, We'll pretty much just see how it works. So we're just gonna go to our downloads And Low gen And I guess we just run it from here All right, let's see here. So the wasteland, Chevy Chase. Uh, guess you just pick which ones you want. I'm not exactly sure. I know I definitely want the wasteland. And. We'll take, we'll take the, ah, uh, no, nah, we don't need it. I feel like a lot of these uh, cells right here, they're like those giant room type of cells. Like they're exteriors, but they're kind of like interiors because they're small. Like the DuPont circle and stuff like that. So I'm really not exactly sure which one I, I want to use. Definitely the wasteland. Um, we'll try the rest of them later on. Uh, once I get in game and I'll see which ones need to be generated, but we definitely want the wasteland uh, Alias size. I'm going to just leave this uh, Do not generate tree LOD, so I'm just gonna uncheck that and Then I guess I'm just gonna hit generate And we're just gonna wait Okay, so it is finished down here. You can see LOD generator finished. You can close this application now. So we can close it. And uh, this is the file path right here. This is what it adds. Meshes, landscape, LOD, world space. Uh, in whichever blocks that you selected. Textures, landscape, LOD, world space. And... Uh, the trees LOD we didn't generate the trees. All right, so we don't have to worry about that. So uh, let's say um, you want to Uninstall the mod right Just in case this doesn't work you would come over to your data folder data textures landscape LOD and uh, See that's the LOD we only check the wasteland so you would just basically just delete this folder and you would do the same thing with the texture. Uh, or that was the textures. So we, you would do the same thing with the meshes. Meshes, landscape, LOD. And then our wasteland. Right? But uh, it's there. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in game. And we're going to see if we can see the difference. Okay. So here we are in game. We're by Rivet City. And... I think it's working. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, there's like my Super Duper Mart and Cup of Joe all the way over there. You can see the signs and it looks like it's really freaking far. So and it looks really clear. Also, the buildings in the distance as well. Those look a bit more detailed. And to really test this out, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to Springvale. The Volt 101 exterior to be exact because up here you could get on top of those mountains 
and you can really see what's going on here if I could jump there we go alright so yeah um there's still a, a few you can still see it looks a little bit blurry in the distance <clears throat> But it definitely looks much better. Uh, you can see, like, there's probably objects that normally wouldn't show, but now you can see them. Like, a lot of those structures there in the distance. All of that. Because normally, I think all of this would be blank. You could even see some, some of the mountains sticking out there as well. And I have my draw distance set to max in the options. I basically do that on every game that I play. And we're just gonna, yeah. All right. So, um, some of the pot, some of the models look low poly. I think it's like, rather than just making them invisible, they'll be there, but they'll just be a little bit lower poly. But as you can see, you can see those overpasses from pretty far away. Actually, I don't know why it's taking a, too long to pop in right now. All right, that was a little weird. But yeah, I'm sure there's probably like another mod that makes it so that LODs are like more detailed and have better textures. And we, we will check that out. I don't know what the heck is causing that. I think it's probably something to do with Project Springville. But anyway, that's it. That's pretty much how you uh, install low gen. I'm not exactly sure uh, what that whole... Whoa, whoa. Oops, sorry. Not exactly sure what that whole tree thing was for. But... uh. I don't really need it because I use tree mods anyway, and uh, I'm not I'm not exactly sure if it worked on those. But anyway, that's pretty much how you use it. Uh, if you're still here, thank you for watching. I will put the link for this in the description below, and I will see you guys next time.